Hey, how are you doing? I'm Dean Wolf, and I'm here with Shirky, and we're in the uh, Wolf's Den here. And today is Sunday, so of course Sunday means uh, classic 70s prog reacts. And of course I'm not going to react to all those standard prog favorites, because that's sort of what I grew up on, like uh, King Crimson, uh, Rush, Yes, Genesis. Uh, although I was a little late coming into Renaissance, there's still some I haven't reacted to yet. So if you want me to react to some Renaissance, leave it react below. Stuff like Gong and all that, I didn't really follow, didn't know them. And uh, what else was it? Well, this is a ton of stuff, frankly. And this is one of the uh, requests that you gave me to check out something from the 70s. Mal Adroit. For another slice of proggy goodness, check out Steve Hillage's Solar Music Suite from his album Fish Rising. I don't think it's Rixing, Rising. A little typo there. So, let's do that. Let's check it out right now. It's probably going to be a long song, because uh, that's one of the classic characteristics of those old prog stuff from the 70s, and I just love it.
This very jazz fusion. Love it. is just so organic, right? It doesn't feel uh, contrived in any way. It's just such a natural flow. This reminds me of something from Bruford album with Alan Holdsworth.
Well, that was a perfect song for a Sunday, you know, let alone being a progressive rock 70s song. It's just perfect for a Sunday. So I hope you're watching this on a Sunday. <laughs> uh, you got your mug of your choice of beverage, hot beverage probably, and you're relaxing a bit. That song, wow, that takes you, it takes you on a trip, doesn't it? Like sailing through the clouds and the, or down a stream with the currents pulling you gently um, the guitar work was f amazing. I loved all the guitar work. Little hints of Steve Howe there for me. I'm a big Steve Howe and Yes fan. So this reminds me of... This feels like 70s, early 70s, for sure. It has that distinct feel. And um, bass was nice. The the, the song started off um, very kind of almost David Bowie-ish. You know, I, to me, it, it has a sort of a David Bowie feel a bit to it. And I was not expecting at all how it transformed into this kind of fusion jazz uh, exploration there. And uh, with amazing musicianship, top-notch musicians, nicely recorded. The drums reminded me a little Bill Bruford here and there. Definitely a classic early 70s production sound for a drum kit. And uh, the singing was fine. Uh... I would say the singing was probably less distinct. Like, I'm not going to hear, uh, a week from now, hear this, another song from Steve Hillage and right away recognize his voice. To me, it didn't latch on right away. His voice is not super distinct. Good good singing, though. That's just a comment. Um, 
probably I have to hear for a few more songs to kind of get to become familiar with the singing. The songwriting was great. It was fascinating. Um, like, you know, I don't always focus on lyrics, but I was trying to listen to the lyrics here and there. And um, let's see what stuck out to me. Not much. <laughs> I guess I was focusing too much on the music. That's just what I do. But uh, of course, I'm gonna. I, if you're like me, are you going to revisit this? You want to hear some more Steve Hillage? Certainly, that was a wonderful song. I could definitely put that one on again. Enjoy it right through. Sit back. Ah, I just love that sit back feeling it gives me. Make sure you tune in next Sunday too for more reacts. Make sure you leave a comment below if you want to request a certain 1970s prog epic or just any favorite song of yours from the 70s that you think I haven't heard yet, because I'm sure there are lots that I haven't heard. And of course, a lot of that you haven't heard at all as well. So we get to all share that. So I'm going to turn this off because we're finished wrapping up. Okay, bye now. Spiraling out. See ya.